Hi, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Mary Meyer and I am going to start doing some food videos and I thought I'd start off with probably the most asked recipe and that is our pie crust. Um, so we're going to start off with, start off right away with um, three cups of flour. And then we're going to get a cup of shortening and um, I don't care what kind of shortening that you like to use. I like actually the cheaper ones are the ones I kind of like more. And if you notice I used two one half cups right there. So we're going to cut that pastry cutter you definitely could use a couple of knives or a fork and I'm just gonna cut that shortening into the flour Sometimes you would like to maybe uh, have everything cold, like your flour and your shortening, if you want. And so in a smaller bowl, what we're going to do is we're going to now add the wet ingredients. And so I need one third of a cup of really cold water. and a tablespoon of vinegar. I really find this makes the best crust for me. And we're going to whisk that up a little bit before we add it to the dry ingredients. Or cold water, of course. So I'm just going to use a spatula. Sometimes I use my hands. And we're just going to try to incorporate all of that together. Okay, I'm going to go in with my hands now. I'm just going to kind of like squeeze it so it all comes together. need it just a little bit so it is a you know pretty consistent We're going to let it sit for a little while, just let it rest on your counter here, a little bit of flour. If you want to refrigerate it, you certainly can do that now. So we'll let it rest for a little while. Okay, so I let this rest for a few minutes and I just, I divided the dough in half. Um, I usually weigh it, but I'm not at this shop and I don't have a scale here at home. So I'm guessing this is going to do it. And how um, we make our pies at the shop is um, these nine and a half extra deep pie, glass pie plates. So that's what I'm going to be using today. 
So I'm going to generously put some flour on my counter. I'm just going to slowly, and I do have another video of me rolling out a pie crust. Um, if you go to the peppercorn pantry page. So I'm just going to, you want to be light. I usually go to the center out until I get the width that I'm looking for. can do this several ways. You can um, put your dough on your rolling pin like this. I fold mine in half and then I quarter it again. So, and then I just put it in the center from, I center is handle to handle, and then I just flip it over. Now again, the last thing you want to do with your pie crust is stretch it. So I'm just going to lay it very carefully in the bottom of the glass pan without stretching the sides here. I'm going to make sure that's all nice and down. And then without stretching it, I'm going to pat it to the sides. And the secret to making a pretty nice uh, uniform crust, and I turn mine under. I take this and I roll it under like that. So that's what I'm doing here. And to make a nice crust, you want to have that the same thickness all the way around. So it's kind of thick here, and I noticed it was thinner here, so I'm going to add that. So now I'm going to go around, make sure that this does not have any air pockets in it. And I'm just going to give it a nice, work it over a little bit to make it nice and uniform. And see how I have it just a little bit above the, pie, the lip of the pie plate. That's going to give us a nice fluting edge. So I'm going to slowly work my way around. And the helpful thing is to make sure that as I'm pinching around this pie, that every everything is about almost exactly the same width and thickness. Now I've got a pretty nice lip all the way around my pie plate. And there's now from now on you can do whatever you were taught or whatever design that you like. Um, you can do a fork design. Um, I had a friend who just used her, she was really talented. She just did this little flutey thing. And that's kind of cute, like that. But just for speed and consistency for the shop, I have just used my thumb and finger technique. So I have my thumb here, but I also have my uh, finger resting against the side of the pie plate here to kind of just encourage that pushed in. And I rotate the pie plate with my fingers as I go across. So I'm able to turn the plate as I'm going like that. So this is how I do it. You do it however you Sorry for that little interruption. The grandchildren were calling and you got to call. You got to answer the call when the grandchildren call. So here it is all fluted and all done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke some holes around it and then on the sides too, but on the lower side of the pie plate. And then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for a couple minutes and then I'll show you how I bake it off. Okay, the pie crust, as you can see, I put fork, um, poke some holes in there with my fork and I preheated the oven to 450. I had this in the refrigerator while that was, oven was preheating and so I um, am going to bake it at 450 for um, five minutes. Then I'm going to check on it. If there's any, uh, if I see it puffing up or anything, I'm going to go ahead and poke it again. I do not put beans or anything in there. I like how my crust gets a brown here. So I don't do the, I think they call it the hidden 
uh, method, I leave mine just like this. So I'll show it to you in about five minutes or so. Okay, this is the pie crust coming out of the oven after five minutes. It did not bubble up in the middle. Do you see how it's starting to get nice and brown? And so I'm gonna put it in for another five to six more minutes at 450. So here's our pie crust, fresh out of the oven. You can hear, still hear it sizzling a little bit. But see, nice and evenly brown and ready to be filled. Thanks for joining me and catch me at the next video.